Hi everyone, it's Megan. Lately a lot of people have been asking where did this one doll come from or where did this doll go and why did Carter change his face three times over the last year? Because my collection has changed quite a bit over the last year, I thought I'd do an all of my dolls video to hopefully answer some of your questions. The doll that started it all is my first doll, Alyssa Hart. I got her in December of 2009 as a birthday present and she is My American Girl number 13. I got her because at the time she was my lookalike. Her personality is kind of the mother hen. She really tries to get everyone organized and kind of keep things somewhat normal, but it doesn't really work most of the time. My second doll is Carter Brown, a boy doll. He's a Rebecca Rubin with a wig from eBay. I physically got Rebecca in the spring of 2017, but I ended up using him as my boy doll because first Carter was Alyssa with a brown wig, and then he turned out to be my, what used to be my second doll, which was Blue Eyes with the same wig. Then I got rid of her, so then I used Rebecca as my boy doll, Carter. Carter is very kind and fun, but he isn't exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. My third doll is Lainey Holland, Girl of the Year 2010. I got her in the summer of 2011. Lainey loves recycling and kind of keeping the earth clean, but most of all, she is the infamous rebel of the house. She will do anything to prove that she is the most edgy, even at her own expense. When I was younger, I used to throw her up in the air, let her hit the trees a little bit before falling to the ground, and because of that, she has a lot of scratches and shine marks on her face. My fourth doll is Mia St. Clair, Girl of the Year 2008, and I got her in Christmas of 2011. Mia is the youngest of the group, probably around 14, but despite being the youngest, she is actually the oldest doll here. She's actually 10 years old from 2008 to 2018. Mia is the athlete and she has lots of energy so that's used a lot for um, competing but it's also when things go wrong she is usually the first person to freak out. But usually everything works out okay because a lot of the older dolls will kind of calm her down. My fifth doll is Caroline Prim Abbott. She is an American Girl Historical. I received her for my birthday in December of 2012 and I, this is right before American Girl turned the historical line into the Be Forever line. Caroline is the second doll in my collection who has blonde hair. Her personality is very well put together and kind of composed even when everyone else is freaking out around her. She's also very intelligent and she wants to be a doctor when she grows up. If you don't remember or you weren't there, around 2012 the Hunger Games was huge on AGTube and the whole community, so the name Prim comes from the Hunger Games series. My sixth doll is Sage Copeland, Girl of the Year 2013, and I received her in December of 2013. Sage is a huge artist and loves anything and everything art, and she is also very dramatic and does not like when people interrupt her for her art or anything else she's trying to do. Sage is the last doll I got before I temporarily lost interest in American Girl for two years, in 2014 and 2015. Flash forward to 2016 when my interest in AG was ignited once more. In December of 2016, I got Nina Rosario. She is my seventh doll, and I named her after Nina Rosario, a character in the musical In the Heights by Lin-Manuel Miranda. Nina is a truly me number 47 with custom freckles that are just watercolor. What really drew me towards her is that she is a Sonali mold, and I could get a doll that looks like Sonali without kind of the price tag. Nina is very nice and caring, but at the same time, she doesn't let people push her around. My eighth doll is the beautiful Rose Akina, a renamed Girl of the Year 2011. I got Rose in the summer of 2017 as a grad gift, and I have had my eyes on her since she retired, and I really wish I got her, but I didn't, but I was able to find one, and I am so in love with her. Rose is super into music, and I would describe her as very assertive and forward. She doesn't really let anyone push her around, and she lets everyone know what's on her mind. My ninth and final doll is Jenna Thomas, a renamed Girl of the Year 2015. And I got her this past Christmas, so December of 2017. Her year was when I didn't have an interest in American Girl, but I missed out on her collection big time. She's still pretty new to the collection, and I don't really have her personality figured out, but if you have any ideas, let me know down below. Here are all the dolls again. And that's it for this video. Let me know what you thought, or 
If you have any ideas on videos you'd like to see next, just let me know down below. My sixth doll is Sage. One, two, three, yeah, six.